Massive stone towers pierce an empty sky. This enormous structure is called the cage. In its shadow, a lone girl walks with purpose. And she will not leave until she has what she desires.
dear. So you did lose your voice after all. Don't worry. Mama's here to help. This way. You've lost more than just your voice. But I'm sure you already know that, don't you? You've lost so much, but the time has come to reclaim it. Life will be much harder if you can't speak after all. These stairs are the entrance to your prison. A place known as the Cage. It's a truly massive structure. Where you woke up, and this sandy area here, are just small parts of it. This place is called... The Cage? And now, the moment you've been waiting for... Dream Time! How annoying. We all live under someone else's command. Our bodies and emotions are not free. One often lacks the will to choose from the remaining options. These feelings, they're all real. But my reality wasn't. I just wanted... happiness. Normal happiness. Assist me. Truest meaning of the word never existed to begin with. We don't have time to deal with gods right now. I am a different man now. It's something I want to do. I won't stop until I've destroyed them all. Steer this into your mind. I can destroy the flowers with this. What is your anger meant for? I'll kill them all. <laughs> yes. Let's go. We have a final fragment to reclaim. Goodness, look at these rivers of sand. I wonder how such a thing came to pass. Make sure you don't get any grit in your eyes. I wonder where all of this sand is going. Let's head for the shiny black light up there. These strange statues are scattered throughout the cage. I don't know who made them, but I call them Dark Scarecrows. 
Anyway, this is the first one, so we'll start here. a vast wasteland. A taciturn man follows. The boy proceeds uneasily, his eyes constantly probing their surroundings, almost as if he fears they are being followed. Suddenly, a dreary town emerges from the dust. The boy suggests they take their rest, and the man nods silently. The two make for a nearby eatery, hoping to shake the road from their weary bones. But instead of welcome, they find a group of bounty hunters gathered at their destination. The lead hunter stares at the child, appraising him. You royalty, boy? His voice is wrath. The boy remains silent, his head hanging low. Perhaps angered by the lack of response, the bounty hunter suddenly draws his gun. Two shots ring out and fade into the dusk. Did you see the flock of black birds that possessed the bounty hunter? They're nasty sorts who like to fly in and warp the story. Well, we are not going to let that stand, are we? Your role is to defeat them and put the story back the way it's supposed. But I suppose you already know that, don't you? Perhaps angered by the lack of response, the bounty hunter suddenly draws his gun.
having defeated the hunters, the man turns to his charge. Are you hurt, my prince? I am well, replies the boy. But remember, I am no longer a prince. With a wry smile and a touch of regret, he proposes they take their leave of the town. The man silently nods and gazes upon the boy's face. Your task is to fix warped memories like this in order to restore complete stories. But we also need to collect weapons like these. Do you have a rough sense of what you're supposed to do now, child? Yes, I suppose it is a lot to wrap your mind around. It'll make sense as we find more stories. Don't be afraid to ask for help. My, what a beautiful place. I can't fathom how anyone managed to construct something so large. You will sometimes encounter black birds in the cage, and you should do what you can to shoo them all out. If you do that, Mama will give you a nice... Well, here's the second one. Are you ready? Wherever people gather, stories come with them. But saloons have a special ability to loosen even the tightest of lips. Such rumors are what brings the woman with the mechanical arm and leg to this place. For she is a bounty hunter in search of her prey. The information she obtains from the patron seems vague, but it is more than enough. 
gathering herself, she exits the saloon in pursuit of her target. I'll cut down everything in my way. is over in a moment. The woman's sigh is carried off by the wind. No mediocre highwayman could hope to stand against her desire for revenge. The woman heads for the forest in pursuit of her target. We collect stories in order to regain what you have lost. But we also do it to make your wish come true. So let's keep it up. Slow and steady wins this race. Thank you. 